Here's a jet flying past the top of the stripe towards the big tree to the left or the lamp. I just um, like fell asleep immediately after uploading my dreams from last night and had more dreams. So I think um, also all the clouds are very dynamic right now. I was just out here a minute ago and they've all shifted totally all around in the sky. They've all shifted. There was a bunch up here and over there. Still one behind that tree. And they're kind of like all shifting towards the west. It seems like. This is what the sky looks off to the east. So one thing that's kind of interesting is that before, so yesterday I took a bunch, picture of a bunch of clouds or images of a bunch of clouds and a bunch of them were kind of had this curly Q formation to them where they looked like they were kind of swept along and then up into little um, curly cues at the end like cane shaped, candy cane shaped. And I had had some type of vision or something like that a few days earlier showing that shape in the sky. And I just had another um, sort of vision of clouds this morning that I'll show. The, the day that I had the vision of the cane-shaped clouds was the day I had the dream about a plant called cane. I just didn't, for some reason, I decided not to show that part of it. That line shape, now there's another, it's either the same plane or a different plane, flying the other direction across the top of that single line in the sky. And the very end of it, you can see, is like kind of fluffy, like, I don't know if this is a cloud coming from, I don't know, maybe it's coming from the other direction. It looks like the line is moving towards the north, and then right in front of it is a, another cloud moving towards the south. So there's like wind going one direction, wind going the other direction, and the clouds are shifting over each other. Maybe that's why the planes were moving like that. So the first plane moved to the south, and then this plane is moving to the north. And usually when the planes, I think, are flying through these interesting cloud formations, they're showing something about the cloud formations. Your eye follows the plane and you see something going on. And I see the same thing with those clouds right up there, that <clears throat> one cloud is going one direction, the other cloud's going the other direction, right above and below each other. So there's one channel of wind shifting one way and then another channel right below it shifting the opposite direction. That's what it looks like. There's a jet right above flying into the big cloud. flies out the other end. Now usually there's a gust of wind. <laughs>
I've watched this happen so much now that I've watched this happen so much now that I am, I expect to hear a uh, wind as soon as a uh, jet flies over like that. So this long streak of wind is, or long streak of cloud-like material is moving towards the north and then the big fluffy ones are moving towards the south. And look at how that streak is fluffing up. And this one over here is like stretching out. This one's fluffing up and this one's stretching out. And they're both moving pretty quickly. Opposite directions. And this one doesn't seem to be moving like that, the one right above me. So it is a channel of wind in a very specific location in the sky. This one's stationary, and it's not totally stationary probably, but it's pretty, if you look at it, it's pretty stationary. But these two are moving opposite directions pretty quickly. This one, it's moved a little bit, but not much. It's changed form more than moved. But these have changed a lot and moved a lot.
So this white line, okay, it was a single, pretty small white line when I came out here. It has just like turned into this giant, like it's like those snakes that they used to sell at 4th of July where they were like little pellets and you'd light them and they turn into this snake of ash. That's what it reminds me of. Like it looks like it's expanded out. So maybe it was some type of concentrated something. that fluffed up. And that right there appears to be the cloud. I didn't totally keep track of it. I think that was the fluffy cloud that moved over and now it's still, but this one is still moving. This one's still pushing north, but this one seems to just stopped right there. And there's other weird stuff. No, it's still moving, but slowly. There's other stuff going on behind it. But this long cloud seems to be moving pretty quickly. It's just visibly pushing to the, you know, and expanding still. It's also drifting to the east. And then the edges down there are feathering out. These ones still moving slowly. This one's moving quickly. Just like a snake across the sky, that's what it looks like snakes going across the sky. And it's like uh, just diving into this cloud here, almost. I don't see it coming out the other end, like, not yet anyway. It's another white jet. Same one, maybe white jet with a blue tail. There, it's coming out the other end now. The nose is coming out the other end, so I mean it's passing over the top of this cloud. The feathered edges, it almost looks like a centipede. Giant centipede. And that's interesting because I was thinking about today about reading about some of the stuff that happened with centipedes last year.
Now the bottom clouds are moving. Pretty, they started to move again. And so now that thing is coming out the other end there. The centipede. almost passed over this cloud. It'll probably be behind the apartment building pretty soon. It's almost passed completely through this, over the top of this cloud. There it goes. And then we've got that formation going on now. There it goes. This cloud formation has already moved all the way over here, and that one is off in that direction. Still moving pretty quickly to the north. This 
started out over there. Right? 20 minutes ago. Or so. Jack Dragonfly.